Today we'll be ranking each of the Disney attractions from 1 to 10 in Hong Kong Disneyland. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. My first attraction is in Tomorrowland with the Iron Man experience. This is sort of like a stimulation room sort of ride. It's absolutely brilliant. The VFX was on point. And best of all, it's the queue design. One of the best queue designs I've ever seen. 9 out of 10. Next, we visited Hyperspace Mountain, which is a re-themed version of the Space Mountain with Star Wars. I personally love this because I'm more of a thrill kind of guy. Managed to sit in the front row and it's Space Mountain. What can you go wrong with it? 10 out of 10. We went on a flat ride called Orbitron, which is in the center of Tomorrowland. This is a really slow kids ride and the joystick that they provided you so you can control up and down didn't really work and it's very not responsive for me it was more of a fun chill kind of ride and have a look at the views of tomorrowland 3 out of 10. it's a small world there are one of these disneyland classic rides present in every disneyland in the world classic lovely theming lovely queue lovely song 7 out of 10. Next, we moved on to Fantasyland and watched Mickey's Philhar Magic Show. It's a 3D concert movie with many effects like splashing water, wind and smell. Really, it's like a 4D experience and I've been loving this ever since I was a kid and I'm glad they've kept it all along. It's absolutely fantastic. 9 out of 10. Next, we moved on to a unique part of Hong Kong Disneyland, the Toy Story Land. And the first ride we went on is the RC Racer. This is like a U-shaped race track where the ride, where the car moves back and forth in a U-shape. And trust me, this ride is way more than it looks. When you actually go on the ride, the hang time is incredible. It looks kind of low right on the footage, but when you actually go on it, you, you do not expect how high it goes. And it is really, really good. My favorite ride so far in the park, 10 out of 10. We then tried to get on probably one of the best rides in the park, Big Grizzly Mountain Runaway Mine Cars. However, on my day of visit, it was shut due to technical difficulties. So yeah, that was a bit unfortunate. From, but from a past experience, this is probably also one of my favorite rides as well. And I would at least give it a nine out of 10. Got a bit hungry and instead of fine dining, we decided to pick up some street food in Disneyland. We found this big ham leg for around 120 Hong Kong dollars, so that's around 12 US dollars. Actually tasted really, really delicious. A lot of protein for those muscle gains, right? The last ride we went on is Toy Soldier Parachute Drop, still in Toy Story Land. This is like a free fall ride. Originally, I was really, really scared for it, but actually after going on it and after being on RC Racer previously, this is not too bad. However, some others found this ride really, really scary. So take my opinion with a grain of salt. Do you like, how do you, how do you feel? Oh, okay. It's still a really good ride and it allows you to see, overlook at the views of the park, especially at night. Six out of 10. Last but not least, the best thing always comes last and it's the Disney fireworks show. In Hong Kong Disneyland, we had a brand new revamp of the fireworks show. It's called Momentous. And I have to say, this is probably one of the best fireworks shows I've ever seen. Besides Happily Ever After in Disney World, it is significantly better than what the new fireworks show in Disney World is called Enchantment. And this Momentous fireworks show, alongside with the castle lighting, the VFX, the water, the music really touches your heart as well. Absolutely beautiful. 100 out of 10. Saturday night, currently in Hong Kong Disneyland. Who says medical students can't have fun, right? Right now, we just finished watching fireworks show Momentous. Absolutely phenomenal. Very, very beautiful. First time I've watched it, it's very emotional for me. And the combination of the VFX as well as the fireworks and the music really touches your heart. Got loads of themes, like for example, with love, with the music, all paired up to fantastic production. Well done. So that concludes our Disney attraction review. Click here for another one of my awesome videos. And I'll see you guys 
in my next video. Hasta luego.